Ellen is fucking Anne. Did you rush all the way back out here from New York just to tell me that? I thought you might like to know. I found the news rather humorous, to tell you the truth. That's strange. So then, when this other car was coming towards us. Strange coincidence, because this afternoon I found one of his belts, this black leather belt with this little silver clasp, which he, he bought on our first trip out here, and um, for some reason sent me on a sort of spiral. Have you been working well as well? No, I just, I should shut George, have you been, have you been painting? No, I've been very frustrated with work, feeling like I'm at an impasse with things, which probably describes why Alan's belt sad me. I mean, when that doesn't go well, then I'm a real wreck. Oh, Rod. You're sounding like a little girl. You were doing the landscapes of the ranch before I left and very excited. But tell me what you thought of them. Of the ranch paintings? They're lovely. Rebecca. They were. I thought they were beautiful. Oh, God. Beautiful. If I have to hear, well, they certainly look pretty. Again, I'm going to, I don't know what. Well, I suggest you start smearing cow shit on them. Mm. Oh, well. Yes, well, that would certainly be novel. <laughs> well, they'd love it back east. Mm. Be venomous with me, Rebecca. I want to know what you think. Just tear me apart. I think the work you've done here is stunning. You're finding a real elegance and simplicity. Come here. You're being such a little blower of smoke. Beautiful. You don't need to fluff me up just because Alan's fucking Anne. Here. Here's a little chimney so you can keep blowing smoke. You little blower of smoke. Hmm. I can blow rings, watch. <laughs> you know, we should be talking about my book if what you want to do is shut up. It's murderous and harsh and empty. Yes, but is it finished? Well, I've spent my entire advance, so it will be soon. And full of white desert and whitewashed walls and black passageways. And every critic will love it. I'll be the darling of the critics. They'll say she wrote a masterpiece that's both ancient and modern. Like cow shit. <laughs> Shut it. This is the thing set in Morocco, yes? Mm-hmm. And what is it called? The Obsidian Valley. Mm. That's lovely. And what is it all about? Things don't need to be about anymore, George. It's not what it's about, it's how it's about. So you no longer want to tell stories? No. No, anyone can tell stories. I want to, I want to create myths. The landscape is like a bare phrase of music or the heart line of a poem. It just feels so absolutely essential with no confusion. But every time I try to recreate it in any way, all of the human grossness seems to start working its way in and it, it just becomes picturesque. Absolutely unnecessary. I hate it. You need to set aside what's expected and be open to what it's giving you. Oh, it's not giving me anything, Rebecca. It's vast and indifferent. And I take and take and take. I'm forcing myself upon it. God. Alan's really fucking Anne.
so has. Are they talking about the war back in New York? No. They were talking about whatever Charlie Chaplin movie was playing in theaters. And what else? It was hard to hear through all the noise. You know, Marcel was showing a urinal at the 291 gallery. It was simply a urinal that he had signed. And how did you react to it? I guess it excited me. We go down to Santa Fe this week. We can see a show, stay at the DeVarcus. How do we get there? Well, the Adams boy has that old car. We could give him a few dollars, have him drive us down. God, that old car. You know, he drove me to Tevis so I could shop, and coming back after dark, the headlamps didn't work. <laughs> and we were driving off the road, through all the sage. <laughs> well? We'll leave early enough. We won't have to drive after dark. Problem solved. It, it was wonderful, actually. The bright stars and that perfume of sage in the air. Mm. You know, he's almost handsome now, as he turns into a man. 
I know that look in your eyes. Those turquoise eyes. Oh, you know me, Georgia. I'm the corrupter of ranchers' sons. No, you're just ancient and modern. Horse shit. Cow shit. <laughs> You never call me Georgia. You're Georgia for them. You play George for me. What kind of car is this anyway? He replies, well, this car, ma'am, this car here is a Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> so then let's drive down with him. It'll be an adventure. And it will take the mind off things. You're right. It's always the best way, if you're nice and Santa Fe. <laughs> <laughs>